Most of us carry a camera every day. I'm talking about the iPhone you bring with you everywhere. Everybody has at least one, and some of you might even have two. Have you heard the old saying that the best camera is the one that's with you? Well, if you're anything like I am, you use the camera on your phone and capture all kinds of moments to save and share. Maybe you're at a wedding, at a birthday party, on a trip, or at an anniversary, or maybe you're seeing something you don't normally see every day. And when you capture these special or interesting moments with your phone, you probably wanna share them. In this video, I'll show you how to take those moments and turn them into slideshows and memories you can share with others, all with the Photos app that's already on your iPhone or iPad. Let's get started. The Photos app is where videos and photos you take on your iPhone or iPad land. That's just how it works. You probably know that these devices will automatically organize your photos and videos by day, month, and year, as well as by location without you doing anything extra. And every night when you charge them, they'll work hard to recognize the text, objects, and faces in those pictures for you so that you can search your library and easily find that picture you're looking for. For example, you could search for pictures with balloons that also have your favorite person in them, all with just a couple of taps. I'm not gonna talk about any of that today. I just wanted to be sure we were all starting from the same place. If you'd like me to create a more comprehensive walkthrough of the Photos app, let me know in the comments. Today, I'm gonna to talk with you about two different kinds of video presentations you can make on your iPhone or iPad to showcase photos and videos you care about. The first one is slideshows, and the second one is memory videos. In the Photos app, you can make what I call library slideshows and album slideshows. First, I'll show you how to make them, and then we'll talk about the various slideshow options you have for customizing them. In your Photos app, go to the library, then go to either All Photos or Days. Tap Select, select one or more photos, tap the dot 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 button to the right of the trash can, then choose Slideshow. Ta-da, we have a slideshow. What's really cool is that it works in either portrait or landscape. More about that later. To end the slideshow, tap the center of the screen and then tap Done. Drop a comment and let me know if you didn't already know how to do this, or let me know how you've been using slideshows on your iPhone or iPad. As you know, in Photos, you can create a collection of photos and videos and save them together in an album, which is the digital equivalent of a physical photo album. Once you have an album, you can create an album slideshow. Here's how to create one. In your Photos app, cancel any selections you may have and then tap Albums. You can tap Albums a second time to return to the list of all of your albums. Open the album you want to choose, and then tap the dot 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 button, and finally tap Slideshow. Once you're in an album, and before you run the slideshow, you can also tap Select and pick just a few pictures to include in the show. Now that we're back in a slideshow, let's take a look at how to customize them. Tap in the center of the screen to see your available options. At the bottom, you've got a button that lets you play and pause the show. To the right of that, you've got all the main slideshow options. If you've used photos on the Mac to make slideshows, some of this will look familiar to you. There are four options here. First, there's theme, which lets you choose from five available themes with different animation styles. Origami, Dissolve, Magazine, Push, and Ken Burns. Next, there's music, which lets you choose any of the built-in theme music or select music from your music library. Third, there's a toggle that lets you choose whether to repeat the slideshow. And finally, there's a slider that lets you set how fast each slide transitions. In the top right is AirPlay, which lets you share the slideshow to an Apple TV or compatible AirPlay device wirelessly. You can, of course, connect an HDMI adapter to your iPhone or iPad and put your presentation on a TV or other external display. The last option is Done, which is what you tap to end the slideshow. Now you've probably noticed that these slideshows don't lend themselves to being shared via the standard share button. We're gonna talk about memories first, but if you stick around, I'll show you how you can share slideshows with other people, even though there isn't an option to do that. In addition to slideshows, the Photos app automatically creates memory videos for you. These videos look very much like slideshows. Let me show you where to find them. The first place to find them is in the For You section of the Photos app, in a section called Memories. The Photos app automatically highlights memories for you based on people, locations, and dates across your whole photo library. So if you have thousands of pictures and videos, you'll sometimes find special moments highlighted for you right here. Tap a memory to play it. This looks kind of like a slideshow, right? Tap the center of the screen and then the X to stop. You can also find memory videos in the photo library. Tap libraries and then tap days or months. Tap the dot 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 button in the upper right of a thumbnail, then play memory video. You should see that option if the thumbnail you've tapped has more than five photos or videos. 
Memory videos are also available in your albums. Tap Albums, then tap the album you want. Now tap the dot 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 button and then play Memory Video. The options you have in memory videos are similar to those you have under slideshows. Let's run through them really quick. While a memory video is playing, tap the center of the screen. First, you'll see thumbnails of all the photos in the memory video. You can tap, swipe, or drag through them. In the bottom left is music. Tap on it to see what song is playing. While you're in this submenu, you can tap a button to change the selected song or another button to change the look of the memory. Tap to return to the memory video. The next button along the bottom lets you play or pause. On the bottom right, you can tap to see all the photos included in the memory. You can also tap the plus button to add more photos or videos. In the top left, tap the back button to return to the memory video. In the top right, the dot 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 button gives you the option to make this memory a favorite, manage photos included in the video, edit the title that appears when the video starts, as well as AirPlay to Apple TVs and AirPlay compatible devices. Just to the left of the dot 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 button is share. Why? <laughs> because memories are meant to be shared. You can share this video the same way you can share other items on your iPhone by text, airdrop, email, or into one of your apps so you can post it. You'll discover that if you've picked a song that isn't compatible with sharing, you'll get a notice and be advised to choose a shareable soundtrack. Continuing with the memory video controls, near the top left is a button that mutes or unmutes the music, and last, the X that lets you stop the memory video altogether. Both slideshows and memory videos work in either portrait or landscape view. While the videos are playing, try turning your phone sideways or standing it up and down to see how the presentation changes. The orientation of your video gets locked in when you share it with others. Sharing it with others translates it from a real-time slideshow into a video that can play back on any kind of device. You're still here? Thanks for sticking around. Drop a comment to let me know that you're still here or click like. As you noticed earlier, there aren't any sharing options available for slideshows. The only thing you can do is airplay it to another device. Well, it turns out that it's possible for you to record your slideshow and then save it into your photo library as a video. Once it's in your photo library, you can share it to other people just like you share any other video. How does it work? First, we're gonna go to Settings and Control Center to turn on an option that you might not have enabled. The option we're looking for is called screen recording. Scroll down through the list of your control center items and look for screen recording. If it has a green circle next to it, tap the circle. Now screen recording is an option that appears whenever you access control center. If you're on an iPhone or iPad with a button on the home screen, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to show the control center. If you're on an iPhone or iPad that has face ID and no button on the home screen, swipe down from the top right corner of the screen to see control center. You should now see a circle with a big dot in the middle that represents the screen recording button. Are you ready? Let's go record a slideshow. First, open photos and then pick your favorite method to start a slideshow. I'm going to choose an album, tap the dot 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 menu button, and now before I start the slideshow, I'll open control center and tap the screen recording button. After the countdown timer finishes, I'll tap to start the slideshow and wait for it to finish playing. Now, I'll go back to control center and tap the screen recording button again to stop screen recording. The video has been saved to my photos library. The last thing I need to do is trim the video to remove the first few seconds and the last few. Tap the video, then tap edit. Tap and hold the handle at the left of the timeline and drag it over far enough to just before the slideshow starts. Now tap and drag the right handle to just after the slideshow finishes and just before you access control center again. Tap done and choose whether to save your changes to this video or save the changes as a new video in your library. Now you can share this video however you like. Drop your tech questions in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.